guys, Wondering Weasel back today and we're in Cage Cove in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and we are at the John Oliver cabin. Guys, I'm going to take you up here to the cabin up here in the woods and I'm going to show you the cabin and give you a little history lesson on this cabin here in the cove, guys. Cage Cove is a very gorgeous place as most of you know that have been here and the ones that have not been here. Uh, at least watch the video and hopefully you will enjoy it if you're not able to get here into the cove all right guys let's head to the cabin guys as you can see this parking area right here in the cove area out from the cabin and we can start up through here actually guys on the trail uh, we can go this way or there's actually another route right over here that goes through the field to my left so all right guys we're heading to the John Oliver cabin I just wanted to show you the start of it here Guys are coming out the trail here toward the John Oliver cabin. As you can see, all the leaves on the ground. It's fall of the year. The leaves are changing and falling down. Such so a very pretty time of the year to be here. We might encounter a bear here sometime today. I don't know when. Guys, we got some really pretty colors up here on the leaves coming up through the woods and toward the John Oliver cabin. Really pretty colors, guys. The colors are turned really good down here right now in the cove and all the Great Smoky Mountains. So enjoy the fall foliage when, as you watch the video. Guys, I think this trail here is actually a little bit better trail to get to the John Oliver cabin versus the one that's over here in the hayfield beside of us. We're kind of in the wooded area instead of going up through the field. I believe this is a better trail. You see less people. Yeah. All right, guys, you got some more leaves right here that's turned on the trees. Coming up the trail at the John Oliver cabin. You got the reds and the yellows right here, guys. It's really pretty. Some oranges. Guys, if you can hear. Hear that squacking back in there? That's your squirrel. I thought I saw one, but it was a leaf falling. Got some squirrels are squacking in there today, guys. All right, guys, we're coming up to the John Oliver cabin, as you can see in the distance. Really, really nice, guys. I've been to this cabin before. All the cabins in the cove and the churches are really nice. At one point in time in history, people used to live in the cove, guys. It's a nice place for us tourists to visit, but I hate that people had to leave their homes and such. But that's the way things roll. That's the way life is. Guys, on some days, I don't know exactly if there's any specific days or dates there's normally park rangers at these cabins that will tell you a little history as well if you are in here looking at them they're at random cabins or churches periodically throughout the year so that's pretty neat sometimes they do little things for the kids and such Try to do little nice things for them when they're here. Very beautiful little cabin, guys. 
Can you imagine living in something like that back in the day? It'd be very nice. As I was telling you about the field that you can use to access wise, instead of coming up the trail through the woods, and that's right down through there. As you can see, the field and the trail in it. But yeah, we're gonna go on inside the cabin, guys. You can tell the temperature difference when you come in the cabin, for sure. Really, really nice. Guys, check out this fireplace. The old fireplaces for these cabins. That's really nice. A lot of work went into that back in the day. Uh, you've got a little, I'm assuming this is a closet area. Ah, uh, yeah. Closet storage back underneath the stairway to the upstairs loft in the cabin. And I think we can actually go upstairs. Maybe. We're going to try to. So let's head up. I know it's a little dark. It's hard to see. But we're trying to get up in the upstairs loft there, you guys. Oh. If you will forgive me, I'm trying to get my footing and such so I can try to get up here and show you this. Cannot actually go over into the loft. They've got it boarded off, but I can come all the way to the top step and show you upstairs. That's where all the bedrooms was, at least for the kiddos, I'm sure. There's probably several kids. Most families had a lot of kids back in those days. There's a lot of big families. Imagine this little cabin with that big a family. That's pretty wild. So, all right, guys. Guys, I'm going to show you one thing, though. These steps, if you can tell, they are steep to get up and down. You imagine trucking up and down those steps every day, every morning, and to come down for breakfast and every evening to come back up to go to bed. So we are going to head back down, guys. I'll show you a little bit more of the cabin down bottom. These stairs are really hard to get down. They're pretty steep. And I'm short-legged anyway, so the steps are far apart. <clears throat> Whew. Guys, this cabin has got three doors in it. So, guys, we'll come out the back of the cabin. There's another porch out here. I'm not actually sure what side of the front, what side of the back, really. They both look the same. And got all this wood vents around here. All right, guys, you can see the cabin the way it is from this side angle. It's really pretty. But yeah, guys, that's the, this side of the cabin. It's really very pretty. You can see that big chimney on that one end where I showed you where the fireplace was inside. So really, really nice, guys. So, all right, guys, we'll give you a little history lesson here just in a moment. <laughs> all right, guys, I told you we were going to give you a little history lesson here on the John Oliver cabin. And, all right. John and his wife, Lucretta, were the first white settlers in Cage Cove, arriving in 1818. They spent their first winter in an abandoned Cherokee hut. In 1822, they constructed their first real home. 50 yards in front of the hut. However, that is not the cabin you see today known as the John Oliver Place. The John Oliver Place was actually built by John for his newly married son. So, in fact, John Oliver only built this cabin 
but never lived in it, guys. This was actually for his son that was mar just married. So in this area, there had been their home place and their hut that they was in when they moved here as the first settlers in the cove in the 1800s. So guys, this little history here of known facts, I did not, wasn't aware of this, but it's pretty neat information, guys. So there's your little history lesson here for the John Oliver place and the cabin. So I hope you enjoy that, guys. So if you can get up here to actually see the cabin and the area, it's quite pleasant and you will enjoy it. Most of them we see bears up here. All right, guys, I was just going to show you the end of the cabin here. It's the John Oliver place, the John Oliver cabin. As I said, it's kind of odd that it's actually not their cabin, but, you know, it was built by him. So I guess it kind of was his, but they didn't live in it. The son lived in it, which I'm assuming probably back in the day, his name was probably John as well, but I'm not sure of that. So, guys, a lot of works went into that cabin. A lot of work went into that chimney. You imagine trying to do that chimney back in the 1800s? I mean, come on. And all this fence line that is around the whole little farm area here is pretty wild, guys. So, guys, I'm going to take you down the field trail instead of the wood trail that we will come up to show you that access path to the John Oliver place. All right, guys, we are now coming down the trail that comes up through the field. There's actually two of them here. It splits, one left, one right. But I'll show you how they split. We're gonna go to the left split because it's kind of what the direction we're parked in. As you can see, the split right here, and we're coming up on it. You've got plenty of access parking down here to the right, down off the right trail. And the left trail goes down toward the parking area that we're in. There's two little parking areas. And the wooded trail splits off down at the bottom of the parking area off of this left one. Guys, it is a very, very warm fall day. And you can see the mountains in here behind. As we're coming back down to the vehicle, coming down the field trail from the John Oliver Police. Guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the little history lesson in the cabin and showed you the access trails to it. I had to get up to the cabin from the Cage Cove Loop. It is the first cabin that you come to in the Cage Cove Loop when you're coming it's just barely above what's well, right there at the sparks lane turn off it'll be to the right from the sparks lane turn off you'll see a sign there guys beside the road john oliver cabin and it's what about a quarter mile from the pavement up through either the field or the woods mm -hmm. to the cabin it's a quarter mile and it's easy walking it's not nothing hard yeah, I mean, I think, can you ride the bicycles up to it? No. Cannot ride your bicycles? I thought you might have been able to. I saw parish chairs on it. Okay, yeah, we have seen some power chairs, I actually. Power chairs use the wood trail. The wood trail is easier to power chair than the field I trail. I know that's technically allowed, but I saw it. Yeah. Yeah, guys, look how beautiful the mountains is back here coming down from the to the vehicle. You can see the fall colors in them. It's really, really gorgeous. One lonely tree out here in the field, as you can see. A couple over to the right. All right, guys, we are down the field trail back to the vehicle area from the John Oliver cabin. Guys, I just want to take you and show you that, tell you a little history lesson on it. I hope you enjoyed it.
If you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also, ring the bell. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so so far. And if you're new here, we are uploading. We have videos that come out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You go live at 8 a.m. So, guys, as long as you are following, subscribed, ring the bell, all that jazz that you will wind up keeping your notifications of upcoming videos and adventures guys from the wonder and weasel and this is the wonder and weasel signing off from the john oliver cabin in cage cove